Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today episode is gonna be a special episode because I'm going to teach you how to uncap FPS frame today. So if you're playing Realm of the Mad God, you will notice if you have any FPS monitor, you will notice it's stuck on 60 or if you have a 144 hertz monitor or any of the above, it will be stuck on the cap level of the monitor. So even if you go into the settings of the game, like if you go in video settings, you will not find any options in the game to see the settings, okay? So for this, we will have to modify the game itself. To do this, there are three ways I will uh, tell you how to do it. So the first way to do it is go into your graphics, go into your graphic settings, just type graphic settings. Turn hardware isolation GPU scheduling on. This will reduce the latency and it will improve performance of your PC. And then you need to click uh, browse. This will not be here, okay? This will not be here. You need to click browse and you need to go, one second. You need to go documents, Realm of the Mad God production, and then you need to click uh, uh, Rockmax Exalt and then you need to click add, okay? And after that, you click options and then you go for highest performance. You need to click, if you have a Intel, uh, Intel graphics card, it will show up there. If you have a AMD graphics card, it will show up there. Okay. And after that, you're done. There is one more thing you need to do, which is very preferable. You, you go, you type power, power and sleep settings. Okay. You go into that and then you go into additional power settings. In here, you change your preferred plans to high performance. If you don't have this available and you only see this balanced, go into change plan. Okay, go into advanced power settings. Okay, from here, uh, if you're on a PC, you will probably have this options. And even if you're in a um, laptop, you will also have these options if you have the wired plugin, I think so. You just click higher performance and you click OK and then you click apply, OK? And then it will give you more performance. And after that, when we're done with that, we need to go for one last thing. We need to go into NVIDIA control panel. And if you have AMD, I don't know how the AMD works, but I think the, the things in the settings, which I'm going to show you are probably the same one in AMD also. So first you need to go to manage 3D settings. Okay. Then you need to go to program settings. In here, you need to add the game first. Okay. The game will not be here. It will be something like, I don't know, obvious maybe. So first you need to add the game. You click the add. And then you go down and you click here recently used so if you have opened the game realm of the mad god it will show like you see roadmap exalt you just click this and you click add selected pro program okay like i go here so the program is already there okay now the first setting you need to do is c c u d u a cuda gpu okay you go from here you select all, okay? This will let the GPU use all of its CUDAs, okay? So it will be using all of its cores. So you go here and you turn it, uh, uh, use this GPU and then you select the GPU you're using, okay? For Intel user, it will be Intel. For AMD user, it will be AMD. Then you go in low latency mode. You click ultra, you uh, make it ultra, okay? And then you click, uh, go to open GDI compatibility. You make it to prefer, prefer performance, okay? And then you go to power management mode. You make it performance. Now these were only like making it uh, a little bit more performance. The main settings will be these, okay? The first one is preferred refresh rate. Okay, uh, this is the refresh rate that your monitor is going to display. So you need to make it to the highest available or highest possible, okay? It will be highest available, so you make it on highest available. So if you have the game capped on 60 and you have a 144Hz monitor, it will make the game go to 144Hz instead of 60, okay? And after that, you make texture filtering 
uh, sample on okay this will increase your performance like you can read this uh, if you have selected this on uh, select on for higher performance with a minimum loss in image quality okay and then after you turn it on you go to texture Periphering quality, you make it to highest performance. Then you go to texture thin layer optimization. You turn it on, okay? If you're on, then it says again, select uh, select on for higher performance without a minimum loss in image quality. And the most important setting of this is the virtual thing, okay? You need to have this off because if you turn it on, your game will be capped because the gpu will not render the refresh rate okay if you see the description if you have it off it will allow the gpu to render the refresh rate okay by a higher interval than it do if you turn it on then it will limit the gpu to render the maximum refresh rate okay so virtual sync should be off no matter what because it will stop the refresh rate it will cap the refresh rate this is the most important one okay and after that you if you go into your game then you will see that you will have the maximum number of uh frame rates you can get on your pc uh my specs or the specs on my pc are i want a second i'll show you uh i have a ryzen uh for the cpu i have a ryzen 5600x okay and for RAM, I have a 16 GB and it's on 3000 M HZ speed. Okay, and for I have a SSD drive, of course, everyone has a SSD drive. And for uh, my uh, GPU, I have a uh, MSI RTX 2070 Super. Okay, this is the hardware I'm running on. Uh, you might be, you might probably have better hardware than me, but you're running on. 144 uh, fps because you did not change the settings so don't forget to do that and i hope you guys uh like this video and subscribe and i hope this video helped you guys uh to uncap the game because it helped me a lot and i hope this helped you guys also so i'll see you guys later and thanks for watching the video